everyone welcome back to my channel this is mystic moonbeam tarot and today i'm doing a timeless collective crystal ball reading please remember that the messages i give are general and they're not going to resonate with each and every one of you so as always just take what fits and leave the rest so just sit back and relax and i'm going to see what messages i can get from the crystal ball so just give me a moment please I'm here in five years. This is going to mean something to somebody. Um, I don't know what it's in regards to. I don't know if someone's been going through something for five years. Or something's coming to an end at five years. I don't feel this is um, future energy. I feel as if this is someone's coming to the end of a cycle after five years. Something about five years. We've got the initial F and Y with that as well. And C1... That could mean something as well. I'm also seeing the number 14. So number 14 could be important or the 14th of a month. There's something about someone meeting new friends as well or meeting new people. That's going to bring a lot of excitement in for someone. There could also be someone getting assistance that are, that's unexpected from someone close to them. Someone's also a grand admirer as well. And this could turn into new love. Or someone's got new love arriving. I'm also seeing a flower shooting as well. So to me this is plans coming into fruition. Something's going to change for the better. And it's going to be unexpected as well. We've got the number 21. I'm also seeing a message. It's coming towards the middle. So this is a message coming in for someone. It's going to give someone hope. But a leap of faith is needed regarding this. There's also something about creativity that's showing as well. Um, so it could be a message. Something to do with um, creativity. Creating something. But it's going to give someone a lot of hope. But you're going to need to take a leap of faith with this. I'm also seeing a dove that someone may see on the internet. This could be in the form like of a picture or a video. This dove will have its wings spread or will be flying. That's going to be a sign for someone. I'm also picking up on someone worrying over a situation as well. Um, I do want to say you're being asked to start living your life to the full. I'm hearing that song, I'm hearing a couple of songs. The first song I'm hearing is that song, Don't Worry, Be Happy. And I'm also hearing the song that was sang by Bob Marley. Um, the words I'm hearing are, don't worry about a thing, because every little thing is going to be all right. So that could mean something to someone. Someone also needs to pay attention to the dreams as well. Your dreams are trying to tell you something. You need to journal your dreams. Dragonflies, butterflies, moths and bubbles are going to be significant for the collective. Whether you see these on a picture on TV or you're sitting outside or you're outside and you see these, it's going to mean something for you. So just look up the meaning of those. Now, if anyone's been suffering with an illness or someone's been visiting a doctor because of an illness, I'm seeing a message coming in that will be good news for you. I am seeing the start of a new cycle for someone. If anyone's worrying about health, I do see that there will be a message to say that everything will be okay. There's something about a cycle regarding health as well. Um, so I don't know if this is good news coming in about, I don't know, a cycle of new medication, a cycle of new drugs that you can take. But whatever it is, it's, it's something that started out horrible for you. But everything's going to turn out great. Everything's going to be okay. Someone's also in denial about another person as well. I'm seeing lies and deception with this person that you're in denial about. Whoever I'm talking to, you've been in this situation before. And I'm picking up on an elderly female in spirit that is warning you that a person around you can't be trusted. 
this could be a male for some a younger male See the initial C and J. That could be first, middle, last name. I'm also seeing a gathering. Um, could be at someone's home regarding a child or a conversation taking place regarding a child. I'm also seeing a conversation taking place about a new home as well or a new beginning. I'm picking up on fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So it could be Leo season, Sagittarius season. August, September, November. Those months could be important to someone. I'm seeing the number 20. And the number 20 it looks like 24. And then it's morphed into 26. So the 24th to the 26th. Or the 24th or the 26th. 20th of a month could be important. Someone also needs to follow their intuition as well about... This could be about fake friends or just fake people around you. Try not to get drawn into trouble or drama by others. Someone also needs to hold off on starting any new projects for a few days as well because I'm seeing something about a setback or some unpleasantness is going to disappoint someone. So it could be that this setback is happening for a reason. It's something about a project not being started for a few days. Someone needed to hear that. Someone also needs to take steps towards positive change in their life as well. You could be feeling a little down or someone could be, or could be, could be talking to someone who's battling the blues at the moment. You're being asked to rise above any tribulations you go through. There's something showing about raising your standards. I'm seeing um, metal winding stairs. Also a peacock and pearls like pearl necklace. You also need to be grateful for all you have in your life because I feel as if gratitude is going to bring in an opportunity for you. And when this comes in, you're being told to go for it. There's also something about seashells and children. Um, I'm seeing these children on a beach building sandcastles. So I don't know if this is a memory from childhood or you're actually visiting the beach with your children or you go to the beach and you see children building sandcastles. This could be an almond for you. Or it could be significant. I'm also seeing tropical fish in a tank. Um, the tropical fish I'm seeing, uh, there's one that's orange with black stripes. A yellow fish with black, I think it, it looks like black stripes, um, something yellow and black. And also blue fish. There's also two females in spirit watching over someone. Um, these two females in spirit could be a mother and a daughter or a mother and a sister. So it could be your mother and your auntie or it could be your mother and your sister or you could, could be even be your mother or your daughter. So just put that to where it fits. It's a specific message for someone. I'm seeing the number 17. There's also a social event coming up. And I do need to say, if you're single, you're going to meet a person there that may ask you out. Someone could also receive a message to go out as well. And this message is coming from a male. Picking up on water energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. And the initials S, C, R, F. First, middle, last name. Someone's having anxiety or someone's longing or craving for something. I do need to say if you want something that bad, you need to chase after it. But this could also be a message coming in or arriving where someone's going to be chasing you. But if it's in regards to you being single, to meet someone, you actually need to get out. If you're longing for another person or you're craving someone or craving to be with someone because you're feeling lonely or you just want someone in your life. Then the message is, if you want it, you need to get out and chase it. But like I said, it could be a message coming in where someone's going to chase you. And 
And if you want something that bad, you need to go out and get it. Something good is coming in for the collective and it's going to surprise you. Yeah, I'm seeing the number one. Ones are all about new beginnings, passionate starts, fresh starts. And it's going to come in as a surprise. I feel like this, this hasn't come in yet. It's coming towards the middle of the crystal ball. So I class this as present. So it's not coming yet. The initial D and N. Someone could DM. Someone could find a message in the DM. Could be a shock, a surprise. I am seeing a lot of change for the collective. Um, someone could also be battling within a conflict as well of not knowing what to do. There's also something that needs cutting out the collective's lives as well. You will know what this is. It could be regarding the past. I think I've said this in one of my um, readings before. To welcome in the new, you need to let go of things in the past. Whether this is negative thoughts, um, toxic people, an ex you're hanging on to. Something needs gone. It needs to be gone for this fresh energy to come in. Something about changing your mindset as well. Um, this message may not be for everyone. But if someone's always in the mindset, oh, it never happens for me, I'm, I never get nothing good. You're giving that out to the universe, so don't expect anything good to be coming in. This could be the delays I was picking up on. Um, if anyone's going through a period of uh, stagnancy or things being delayed and things not coming in for you, you need to change your mindset. I know it's hard to think positive when things are coming in, things are happening in your life that are negative. But I do need to say it's your own doing because what you think you will attract. So if you're always in the mindset of not having enough, not being grateful for what you've got, not thinking positive and always saying, oh, well, I'll, never, I'll never have this. You're never going to have it. I know it's a harsh thing to hear, especially when you, you're down on your luck. But it's all in the mindset. I need to say it's the mindset. Someone's mindset needs to change. You think negative things. You get negative things. Someone could also be learning this as well. Someone could be learning how to change the mindset. If not, then I'm talking to someone where you do need to change your mindset. I'm seeing a skull. So something's coming to an end. Someone could have also transitioned over to the other side. I'm seeing, it looks, it keeps changing. It looked like the word Tim, T-I-M. But with this skull, like I said, um, it could represent death. So this could be an actual death of someone, someone transitioning, or it's something ending for something new to be brought in. Because I've found myself with personal experience of when I've lost a loved one. Yes, it's horrible. The grief is unbearable. But I have noticed with every person I have lost in my life, something new has been brought in for me. And that's how I see death now. People see death totally differently. But that's how I see it now. Yes, it hurts and you have to grieve. And you miss that person. But once you've gone through the grieving process, I always find that there's something new. It's like one door has to be closed, whether that's losing a loved one, ending a relationship, ending a cycle, losing a job. Yes, it's horrible in the moment, but there's always something new that comes in after this. And that's what I'm seeing with the skull. Someone needs to keep the faith and remain positive. Things take, I need to say things take time. And I hate the word divine timing, but we've got to understand as humans up in the ethers, there's no such thing as time. They don't, they're not up there with watches and clocks. The universe will bring things into your life when the time is right. 
the universe will not allow you to go through a new cycle until you've learnt the lessons and closed an old cycle out. But there's definitely something new coming in for the collective. And it may be just one thing that you need to let go of. Like I said, it could be negative thoughts. It could be a person that's dragging you back, whether this is friends, family. And with family, it is hard to cut family off. It's hard to cut friends off when you've been friends for so long. But things change. Things are changing. And for this newness to come in, you do need to cut something out or off from your life. So I'm going to leave those messages there and I hope that helps. And thank you all for watching.